Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Emma McTague, and I am thrilled to be here today with three wonderful women as we discuss and celebrate Women's History Month. Um, here at Oshkosh, we have some wonderful women in our organization, and today we're going to converse with three of them. So I'm going to start with Jill. Maybe quickly introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about and we'll just go around. Yeah, my name's Jill Seidel. I currently lead our talent acquisition operations for the U.S. and Canada. I've been with Oshkosh for about 10 years now. Um, it's been a journey. I've worked in four of our five business segments, both domestically and internationally. So primarily, I'd been HR business partner for quite some time until I was approached to go on an expat assignment based <laughs> in Amsterdam. When I returned from there, I joined a program team focused on HR transformation. And then about three months ago, I joined our talent acquisition team and find myself supporting the enterprise on talent acquisition. That's awesome. And I think it's great that you started here as an intern, um, but I've had diverse experiences, whether it's in different segments, different industries and around the world, which is awesome. And then Cassie, you were also an intern. I was. Tell us about your story. Yeah, so I actually was reached out to um, LinkedIn about an opportunity here at Oshkosh Corporation. Um, so I started interning in 2012. I interned for four summers and then as an environmental engineering intern, that's what I was going to school for. And then I came on full time. I was within our, really my four years in environmental were focused on zero waste to landfill efforts. Um, and we actually achieved zero waste to landfill certification at two of our Oshkosh facilities, which were the first in the corporation, um, which was really exciting. But then after that, um, our VP of Ops kind of sat me down and said, Cassie, what's next for you? You know, um, what do you think your career path looks like here? And so we kind of had started having more mentoring meetings and met for about six months until um, I kind of agreed upon that I wanted to try out industrial engineering um, and get more hands-on into our operation side of things. And so I've been doing that for about 18 months and I love what I'm doing. That is awesome. And what I love as well is that your, you know, your family have worked in manufacturing and it's just yep. continuing the journey and, and I love that you're having conversations and proactive conversations on your career. Yes. Um, and then Maggie, what I love about you is you're a mom of three young kids, but you're also a woman in a plant leadership role that I'm just, I'm so envious of you. What's it like? Tell me about your career. Yeah, so I, I work at Pierce Manufacturing. I've been with the company for about 16 years. In fact, I started in 2005 as Summer Health. Um, it was one of those opportunities because my dad worked there that um, could get in as summer help, and the, that wasn't the plan. It wasn't the plan to stay with Pierce, but once I started working, I really enjoyed materials operations and, and stuck around upon graduation and, and then sought to start my professional career with Pierce. So I went through materials and purchasing, back to materials, and, and ultimately landed in operations about a year ago as the plant manager at the Nina facility. That's wonderful, and I, I think what I love about journeys of, of careers at Oshkosh is their dynamic. You know, you think you're starting in materials, and then before you know it, you're the plant manager of a, of a great plant. And I'll be honest with you, when I started with Oshkosh almost six years ago, leading HR for JLG, if someone told me I'd be the chief HR officer and in Oshkosh, I'd be like, really? Um, so it's wonderful, um, and it's very exciting.